everybody. We're going to start off by roasting these tomatoes to make homemade Mexican salsa. So here I've already started to roast them. And it's pretty well cooked through. As you can see, look how soft it is. You're going to want to get it real soft because if you put it in the blender just completely raw, it will turn very foamy and it doesn't look very appealing. And the taste doesn't isn't as nice as well. We're going to give these a quick roast for flavor. I've already pre-roasted them, but they do need a little bit more. Let's see if you can get this guy to flip over. See, they already have a little bit of a char going. And what this does, like I said, is add flavor. And these are herbal chilies. You can use lots of different types of chilies in place of these if you don't have these or you like a different flavor. Let me get that guy to flip. It's not going. There we go. Okay, so I can start taking my tomatoes and I just have like a simple little blender. <coughs> okay, I'm going to put these herbal chilies in. You can't roast them too long or you'll start to cough. So here we go. I got a simple blender here. I need to add some water to it. Excuse me. Oh. All right. Here's some water. Go here. I have them in the blender, as you can see. So I'm gonna add some salt now. Okay. Put the top, top on. Okay. Now it's done blending. It only took about 30 seconds. Not long at all. We're just going to pour it right into our bowl. There we go. Then we're going to add the onion. This is maybe too much onion for that, but I do like a lot of onion in my salsa. I'll just go ahead and do it all. Then the cilantro. Depending how much you like, you can just add whatever. Mix it like this. Here you go. Mexican style restaurant salsa.